The chest and the box the same thing, like a treasure chest. So we're gonna take you devils, we're gonna seal you up in a box, man. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna cram these devils up. We're gonna cram you in there. And I'm smiling because it's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna take the devils. We're gonna cram you inside of a pit. We're gonna cram you in there. We might take a million of you devils and throw you into a pit. And throw, throw you into a pit that's two in, a pit that's two inches deep. Because you can have spiritual power. Yep. We might take all you a million devils and seal you into a bottle, man. <laughs> and leave you in there. Freaking devils. So that's gonna happen to Esau. Read that again, huh? Um, this Lamentation chapter 3 To hell you saw man They had, double. they had cut off my life In the dungeon mm -hmm. And cast a stone upon me right. Waters flow over my head Then said I I'm cut off That's right so we're going to cast you so We're going to cast you devils in the dungeons And, throw, and seal, seal you up In them damn dungeons In them damn holes So you're going to be living in holes yeah, we, you, listen, you're not going, like the Elder Heart says, it's not going to be no, um, you get an hour of free stats, recess. It's just like a woman for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be none of that. When we got you devils in incarceration, we're going we gonna to incarcerate you. Yeah. We're going to let you devils going to be locked up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying? No, no. Oh. So it says incarceration. Oh, it's, go back to that Isaiah 24. Yeah, Isaiah, the last verse. Isaiah 24 and 22. And and they should be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit right and should be shut up in the prison and after many days should they be visited now you look at that word visited in the hebrew forget the exact word it might be quad if, if, if i'm not mistaken but visited when you look it up it means to punish it means to punish so you're gonna be locked up in these pits and then after a while after many days you're gonna be visited for us to mess you up Really, has going into to, to, uh, for us to destroy you completely. As soon as Obadiah, Obadiah, when speak about how you devil's gonna be burnt up, you hear gonna be burnt up, and not gonna be nothing left in the house of Esau. The reason why I expounded on that, I wanted to expound on that part, visit it, because it says right here, it says incarceration, public custodia, and facilities such. Like, now, I'm not saying we're gonna be doing things like the Romans, because this is the thing that, that the Romans did. But I'm just giving you, I pulled this document out just just to show you how in the ancient world. What they used pits without water for? How did the cash prisoners in there? All right, you got something? The, um, visit it. Oh yeah, you got yeah, it. Yeah, visit it. Uh, you said Pequod, right? Yeah. yeah. The Hebrew word is Pequod, and it basically means yeah to be punished. Punished. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're gonna mess you devils up. Yeah, that's yeah, that's Pequod. Yep. Uh, Pequod. I'm gonna go down to get the punish part. Okay, hold on. Pequod. Oh, it's not. Like, it's kind of blurry. Kind of blurry? Yeah, let me get it clear, let you know. Okay, cool. Hold on, let me get the punish part. The very top, it says to punish. See it? Uh, yep. Punish. So we're gonna mess you devils up. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna smack the shit out you. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go right, we're gonna go right into, into y'all, into y'all living quarters and we're gonna smack you the hell up. We're gonna turn our hands into metal and we'll smack the hell out you. And they're gonna be playing with you devils, man. We're gonna smack your heads off. And the reason I want to get into that part because it says incarceration, public uh, custodia, and facilities such as the Telenium. So this particular facility, the Telenium, which was uh, originally used as a water cistern, which without water was used as a prison. It says it was intended to be a temporary measure prior to trial or execution. So before they executed them, or before, or before they visited them, they kept them in the pit with cistern where there's no water. Um, Zechariah 9 and 11. They kept them in there where there was no water. So they're gonna so we're gonna have you devils in pits, man. Alright? Alright. This is um Zechariah chapter 9 verse 11. All right. As for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit wherein no water. Yeah, the pit wherein there is no water. Now it says the pit wherein there is no water because he was in slavery, and there was no water, meaning there was no knowledge. And also, why well, did the word prisoners was there? Because we was actually in the pit. We was in a state of a slavery. Can you, can you get um, Psalm 63 and 1? Because we, we, we was as prisoners in the pit, wherein, wherein there was no water, meaning there was no knowledge. And when you look that word up, the word there is Bawar 2 for pit. I mean, yeah, um, 
You said pit when there's no water, right? Yeah. Um, as for thee also, by the blood of thy covenant, I have sent. I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit. Yeah, out of the pit, out of out of slavery. Go ahead. Wherein is no water. Wherein there is no water, meaning no knowledge. And also, we was also that water is um the word there for pit is um barwa. Because actual pits without water were used to put slaves in there. So it's like twofold when you look it up in the Hebrew. When you look it up in the Hebrew. Because pits was actually used to hold, pits with no water were used to hold prisoners. And the pit also represents a state of slavery. You see that? Check that out. That's why I said wherein there is no water. You got that scripture? What other scripture I said to get? Isaiah 66. Nah, it was something else. Um, 63 Psalms and 1. Psalm 61. Further expounded on that um, no water part, because it is talking about the knowledge also. All right. That's what it's mainly getting into. This is Psalm 63, verse 1. I think that's the one. O Most High, thou art my power, early will I seek thee. Mm -hmm. My soul thirsted. Yeah, my soul thee. thirsted for thee. How do your soul thirst? Do you mean your soul want to drink of water? It's not too much literal water. Go ahead. My flesh. Longer, longer it for thee in a dry and thirsty land, where where no water, where it, where no water is. Yeah, my soul longer for thee, said thirsty for thee. Yeah, I read again from the top. Almost out thou my power. And that's David speaking. Go ahead. Early when I seek thee, my soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land, where no water is. Yeah, where no water is. And that's talking about America. We, I was so thirsty for the Most High in the land that's dry when there's no water. Because America is destitute of knowledge, man. America is destitute of knowledge. But wisdom is reigning in the land drive drive truth. Wisdom reigneth in the land drive truth, man. Wisdom, wisdom reigneth down the land drive truth. That's what we're doing now. So America is a land where there's no water also. But America is, is, is our slavery, our captivity. I saw Psalms 23rd chapter speaking to the valley of the shadows of death. It's talking about America, man. A valley is a low land, and it's also a low land morally. Let's get the book of um, um, Jeremiah 2 and 13. All right. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 2. And is it 17? 13. 13. Yep. Uh, uh, for my people have committed two evils. Right. They have forsaken me, the fountains of living water, and hewn them out. Yeah, they forsook the most high, fountains of the fountains of living water. Go ahead. With this knowledge. Right. And have hewn them out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Yeah, they have hewn or cut out cisterns, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Because that's going into other those other philosophies. Those yeah. other philosophies don't hold any water. Yeah. They don't hold any knowledge. And a broken cistern was a cistern that you made, but there was a leak in the cistern, so the water seeped out. But it's not like that with the Most High. The Most High has living waters. Living waters aren't stagnant. Living waters are always moving. Right. All right? That's all for you. Go ahead, it's, um, Proverbs chapter 5 and 15. All right. Drink waters out of their own system. Yeah, but we're supposed to drink waters out of our own system, which is this Bible. But our people hewed out systems wherein there was no water. They cut out systems that couldn't hold no water. Systems that had holes in it and, and water leaked out. That's what the elder hall like to call it Swiss cheese doctrine. Doctrine with holes in it. Those guys got holes in it doctrine because they hewed out systems wherein there was no water. So the system that they hewed out, that they cut out, that they dug out, have holes in them, have leaks in them. So the water seeped out. They couldn't hold, they can't hold any knowledge. Go on. Drink waters out of thy own system. Mm -hmm. And running waters out of thy own well. And drink waters out of thy own system and running waters out of thy own well. This is our system and our well, this Bible, the scriptures. And that also, that he, he does cister, cisterns that hold, can hold no water, that also goes into um, the wine bottles. Oh, oh, you can't put a... Um, I would say you can't put old wine, new wine in an old bottle. Yeah. Because when you in the ancient world they use um um I think it was called a flask. They use flask which was like um leather made from a sheep, le leather made from certain animals. Because that's what you get leather from, you get it from animals. They, they, the um those flasks were made out of leather. I forget exactly which animal. I believe it was also used um out of it was used out of skins of animals. 
the last because that's what